Our stomachs break down the food we eat into different nutrients and release these nutrients into our bloodstreams. One of these nutrients is a simple sugar known as glucose. Glucose provides our body cells with energy. We need it to live. But glucose can't move from the bloodstream into cells on its own. It needs help. That's what insulin does. Insulin is a hormone made in the pancreas. Normally, insulin is released when we eat and when glucose is detected in our bodies. Insulin, like a key, unlocks our cells. So glucose can enter from the bloodstream into the cells where it is used to make energy. But in the bodies of people who have diabetes, not enough insulin is made or the insulin isn't working. Because of this, glucose has difficulty moving into cells and instead, it builds up in the bloodstream. This buildup of glucose in the bloodstream is known as hyperglycemia and is a challenge for people who have diabetes. Early signs and symptoms of hyperglycemia can include frequent urination, increased thirst, headaches, and blurred vision. If left untreated, hyperglycemia can cause cardiovascular issues, neuropathy, and retinopathy. While hyperglycemia can occur in people with either type 1 or type 2 diabetes, there are differences between the two. People with type 1 diabetes produce no insulin. Because of this, glucose is unable to move from the bloodstream to the cells since there aren't any keys available to unlock their body cells. People with type 2 diabetes either don't produce enough insulin or have too much insulin but the cells are unable to effectively respond to it, resulting in inability of the glucose to move from the bloodstream into the cells, since there aren't enough functioning keys available 